Hi everyone, Weatherbug Meteorologist Miranda Hilgers back with your National Forecast Outlook. On this Monday, we are turning our attention back to the swath of damage done Sunday night by numerous reports of tornadic activity, numerous fatalities reported, and a lot of widespread damage. So we've had a very active evening on our hands. Hundreds of severe weather reports, over 100 reports of wind damage, over 100 reports of hail damage, and just about 30 reports of tornadic activity here through the midsection of the nation. The heartland being pounded by severe weather today, once again, and even into tomorrow's time frame. So it's just the first, these are just the first in a series of a three-day weather event that will span quite a bit of area. In fact, the severe weather threat through the day today extends just south of the Chicago metro area. A slight risk here in the gold, which is the slight risk for severe weather, including hail, damaging wind, and a handful of isolated tornadoes. But that tornado threat increases a bit when you get to the moderate risk coming through portions of central Mississippi, the extreme northwestern side of Alabama, and south central Tennessee. So we've got our eye on this today. As we move along into our Tuesday time frame, the storms lose a little bit of their energy, but we still have a risk for severe weather here throughout the yellow shaded region as this entire storm system begins to move toward the Atlantic coast. So we have the potential here for some strong to severe thunderstorms. The dew points have been very high as you look toward the Ohio Valley, the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, but the cold dry air is trying to advance. And when you get those two air masses colliding, that's where you have the best chance for strong to severe thunderstorms. So once again today, we have the potential for late night severe weather across Kentucky, Tennessee, and into the deep south. This area of low pressure could be strong enough to even bring down enough cold air to kick up some snow showers across Minnesota, portions of northern Wisconsin, and the Dakotas before it finally pulls into the Great Lakes and the air dries out a bit further to the south. So that's what we're looking at at the forecast. The snow forecast, yes, we could see a few flurries flying here, but it all depends on surface temperature if we get any of that down to the ground. Interesting. Certainly, but uh, not the worst of the things. Five-day precipitation totals look very impressive to the south and east.